Good morning, OJR. I'm Nick Galdi, and today is September 29th. And I'm Sydney Morrison. Hey, Nick. Yes, Sydney. Do you have a library card? Because I'm checking you out. I see why you're single. Now to the news. Breaking news. A massive fatberg of grease and waste caused an overflow in Baltimore's sewer system. The sewer pipe, which is 24 inches wide and over 100 years old, was clogged due to the massive fatberg. The pipe was 85% blocked, leading to overflows. The bergs are made up of grease, nappies, wet wipes, and other household waste. An eight-member team was dispatched to work seven days a week for three weeks to break up the berg using high-powered jet hoses and axe-like tools. Less than few OJR kids out there, don't flush just anything down the toilet or drain. Simply recycle or throw it out. Thank God it's Friday, more like teens gathering and fellowship. The goal of the club is to provide an opportunity for OJRHS students to gather regularly to support and encourage each other in their individual faith, journeys, and daily lives. Come break bread with them every Thursday morning from 7.15 to 7.25 in room 148. The club will meet regularly with the exception of the last Thursday of each month where they will meet from 6.30 to 7.15 for deeper faith study and discussions. All are welcome to gather and unite, so come on out to the next meeting. This year marks the 12th annual Make a Difference Day to support Coventry Food Pantry. Non-perishable food, personal care items, and paper goods will be collected by advisory teachers from October 9th to the 20th and will count towards spirit points for student homecoming week. Items may be brought in from the 20th to the 27th, but will not count towards points for homecoming. Now that Tyler Paul isn't here plugging to SoundCloud, we can finally introduce you to some good music. The Cavalcade of Bands takes place Saturday, October 7th. Gates open at 5 p.m. Tickets are $10 for adults, $8 for senior citizens, and $5 for students. Come out and be serenaded by the melodic sounds from high school bands. The Homecoming Loft is open for business. Homecoming is fast approaching, and if you're in need of something sharp or elegant to wear, but don't quite have the cash, come to room 1104, where there is a wide selection of gorgeous formal gowns and formal suits. Your names are kept completely confidential. Come get your 80s theme run on at OGR Color Run. To ensure you get a long sleeve shirt, register for the discounted early bird res registration, which is due October 14th. You can register online at OGR1101.weebly.com or make your payment out to Miss Rupel. Walk-in registrations are also accepted the morning of the race. All proceeds benefit the OGR Best Buddies Club and the Roberts Education Foundation. Are you a non-smoker looking to share the dangers of smoking with others? Would you like to spend a few hours each month relaying a message to the fifth grade students at, of OGR that may save a life? If so, Teens Against Tobacco Use is for you. See the sign-up sheet located outside of room 126 for more details. Attention, students struggling with their schoolwork this year at Sydney. National Honor Society will be holding open tutoring sessions from 2.20 to 3.30 p.m. every Tuesday in the LGI. All students are welcome to attend. And after all that studying, you probably have built up an appetite. And lucky for you, the Wildcat Wrestling Club is hosting a flapjack fundraiser breakfast at the Applebee's in Pottstown, Saturday, October 14th from 8 to 10 a.m. Tickets are on sale this week only. If you would like to go, stop by room 162 or email Mr. Duraflo at sduraflo at ojrsd.com. And if pancakes aren't for you, NHS will be selling soft pretzels after school starting Monday, October 2nd and running through the rest of the year. Come get your pretzels in the main lobby, by the gym, or in the North Wing. The cost will be 75 cents for one, or three for two dollars. Hey Sydney, are you a parking ticket? Because you've got fine written all over you. Have a nice day, OJR.